Before we kick this one off, guys, I want to know about Epix. It's an app for both Android and iOS where you can trade and collect digital cards from top teams such as Astralis, MIBR, and Navi. And of course, there's heaps of different rarities which lead into the leaderboard system, be the best of a certain team or overall. There are heaps of different types of cards, including signed ones, cards actually of the skins players have used in big tournaments, and they're adding sets all the time. So check out the link in the description and join me in collecting all these awesome cards. It's that time again where I'm going to share with you the tips and tricks I've seen throughout watching the professionals play, and this time is going to be after the major, so there's going to be a lot of them to share with you. Starting off with Train. Coming out of Spawns, a CT player, you can line yourself basically up at the corner with this marking here on the, the wall, and you're going to aim at this white section here where the wire connects. This is going to be a jump through coming straight out of Spawn if you want to support your player taking some kind of beacon. Once right? because this flies over the top, breaks this glass here, and actually drops on this corner. As you can see, your CT player can get a flash maybe for some support or however he wants to play it. But it's going to restrict the angles the T-Side can duel you from, and they have to basically fully commit if they want to take this one. Now there's a second step to this from Fury, which I thought was interesting. I'm not sure if I like it, but I'll show it to you. It's going to be a Molotov coming out the top of the stairway as this smoke fades. You can see basically what this is going to do is it's going to force the T-side all the way back to this area or further back, depending on how they want to play it. And while that Molotov's up, their player in ladder is actually going to throw this U-tool set here. So you're going to find yourself in this corner. It's going to basically aim up from the middle of this side and up to there. It's going to run forward, throw that smoke. And then while that's up, he's going to get himself in this position here. So you line yourself so the sign looks like so. Just gonna aim here and do a little push throw as well. You can see that's gonna smoke off this doorway here, Molotov this hallway here, forcing anyone on the T side back down this hallway or behind the smoke. You think about the opportunities from there, you can get an AWPer to sit back there, make sure no one can basically walk up around this way. You can come up the ladder while this smoke's still up and the Molotov's gone. You can hold any kind of weird angle you want. So it's a little bit gimmicky. I'm not sure if I like it, as I said, but it's a great idea and I'm sure you're gonna annoy some few people if you can pull that up with a friend. I like to give all maps a chance in the active map pool, so let's get Vertigo out the way. Back into the corner you saw me get into. You're going to find this beam running up to the side of the B sign, and you're going to basically aim just slightly in from the corner, a little bit like I am right now. And again, it's going to be a little jump through for you. And it's just going to bounce off the beam and smoke off this area here. Note, it's not a perfect smoke. There's a little bit of an angle here. But what you normally do is you throw that smoke. Your B player comes out of spawn, mollies this off like that. And then he just sits up here, watches this Molotov, make sure no one comes through. That smoke drops, so they can't... You can see you can still hold any angle from up here as long as you don't go down too far. And then if you really want control of this you can then just smoke that off as that molly or the smoke's fading. So you can take full control of this area. You can see quite a tight choke point. So getting control of this is very useful. Now, if you're a T sign, this happens to you. His little reaction we saw from a Strauss didn't catch one off guard with it, but there's a run boost around here. Some of you probably still know about it. It looks sexy. If you do it with your friend, try not to fall off the edge at least. You're probably working out by now, pros aren't scared to use jump throws, so I'll leave a link to the best way to bind it up in your game if you haven't already in the description below. So most of you probably know this smoke, right? It's a very fundamental one you need to have pretty much when you're hitting this A site. Smoke off the back of this side area, and you have to worry about anyone coming to this area of the map. Throwing a bit of dodgy one. But there's other ways to do it as well, which can be thrown from different locations and a bit of for fake sometimes. There's this one here in this barrel, which is basically aimed between... You can see where I'm aiming. It's not too difficult. Do a jump throw again as well. That's going to be another way to smoke this. Good if you want to fake it maybe and go back towards B. Or there's one here which I saw Astralis using every now and then if they want to maybe send a player in towards holes later on. They want to throw the smoke as well. You get yourself in line with the pipe like you saw me do with this shiny section here. You're going to find this marking here on the wall. I'll zoom right in on the editing. And again, that's going to be a jump throw. And these are just multiple ways to smoke off this very fundamental smoke on this map. And it can give you a lot more options as to what you might want to do. Now the last thing I want to show you, a little extra thing on Inferno, was if you want to clear out that balcony, you've got a very annoying player who's killing a lot of you who's coming out apps, he's playing up on this area here. You want to get rid of him, you can take a little bit of mid control, you can find yourself underneath this area here, and you're going to find this brick here, which has a bit of a darker outline. Just come out to the side a little bit, run forward a little bit, and do another jump through. And he's just going to bounce off here, clear off this whole balcony area, forcing him off in towards pit, and you don't have to worry about any of those close angles if you do want to go for some kind of halls pop play. Now, if you watched some of my videos a little while ago about a game between Astralis and Liquid, you might know some of this utility. But it's going to be for a B rush. The first one's going to be what you saw me just do there. Pretty self-explanatory. That's going to be a smoke for this left side area of this back area of the B bomb side. And the other smoke's going to be coming straight out of spawn. You're going to run yourself against this wall, come out a little bit wide, and basically aim just up from the K up to there, run forward into a jump throw. It's actually a lot easier than you might think. So you're going to come out of spawn, 
aim up from the K. I was too busy trying to explain it, but I think that should still hit. Again, it's pretty forgiving. See, it just bounced off these two walls, pops at the back of the bomb site, and you see that would have created a perfect smoke wall there towards the back. And along with these two smokes, you just throw the heaven smoke, most people know. And this player can throw a really good utility set, the one on the right. He can come down here, he can throw a molly for that barrels area coming on the right. You can see it's like that, it's pretty pretty simple molly and then you can even throw some flashes just making sure your teammates know to run around you and not to get blocked by you can flash behind your teammate up there and then as they get close to the site you can just aim here and run forward and throw that one you can see the great thing about these flashes is this one's going to pop behind them as they're coming in facing this way and then this one here is going to allow them to get up to this pillar that's going to pop behind the pillar and they can continue on their way on the site without getting blind so that's a great lot of utility if you want to go fast towards that b bomb site with the smokes off towards the back if you want to get a little bit fancier and the heaven smoke which i presume most of you already know now, I've shown you a smoke from cat to B doors before, but there's been a slightly better one found. So you're going to sign yourself up the second bar here on this doorway halfway up catwalk. You're going to find basically in line with this, just go up a little bit to about the height in there. You can come in a little bit if you want to be a little bit safer, but generally it's pretty okay like this. Just run forward and throw. This is going to bounce off the closer building, get off this wall here, and actually go inside the door, making it a little bit better than the one that landed outside here, giving the CT maybe a little bit more chance to lurk around if you were coming through that middle area. Now, the other thing for Dust2, which most of you should know, but I just want to remind you, because it is such an important smoke, is if you're coming out long, you can just line yourself in the middle of here, crouch down, find the corner of this little, I don't know what it is, balcony or whatever it is up there, stand up and let it throw, and that's going to be a perfect smoke for CT. And if you don't want to use two smokes in this area, you can use just the one smoke here. Make sure no one's in this elevator area, and you're generally pretty good to go. Newt can be a very difficult map, particularly in pugs. If you don't know them already, I recommend learning these smokes first, but I've covered them before. So I'm gonna go on to some more fancy ones, playing some more outside control. These ones come from Phase in particular, and they're gonna look a little bit like this. So the first one's gonna be finding yourself on top of this little stairway coming out of spawn. You're gonna find this area here up to the top of the pipe, and it's gonna look a little bit like so. And you're gonna run forward basically until you hit that point there and do a jump through. And what this is going to be for, it's going to be for that window underneath heaven that you often probably get shot from. So you can see you're going to run forward, jump like so. That's going to bounce off this building here. Come back over and basically smoke off this window, removing that particular area. If you want to wrap around here, maybe try and go in through mini or yeah, it all depends what you want to do. A good smoke to accompany this, if you've got some friends who are pretty good with smokes as well, is get yourself up on silo here, crouch down. You're going to find this little gap in the roof pretty much, go across two and just aim at that bolt over there to the left. So you're going to require a little bit of counting, hopefully not too difficult for you all, but that's going to bounce off here and you can see it's going to smoke off this, removing any vision for heaven. So you can throw both of these, remove a lot of these angles outside, and if you really want to take it to the next level and you're worried about someone being in that garage, you can slow it down a little bit, have your player line up a similar smoke to this. This is the one I personally like to throw, is you're going to find yourself basically on this corner here. Stay crouching down, you're going to find whatever these little things are sticking out from the box bottom right corner of that one and just throw that while you're crouching you see that's going to land in here towards garage you get this smoke down you get the smoke in towards those windows smoke towards heaven and you can often just do some kind of split a molotov towards credit card there try and come in here and really pressure that a site or there's a whole bunch of maneuvers you can do outside so it really opens up the options for you and these are probably particularly good if you are on some kind of team mirage notoriously hard to find something new about most of you probably know the smokes from tetris that one for ct this one from jungle but one that i think is a little bit newer when i first saw vitality used but maybe someone else came up with it it's going to find this corner here aim up like so and it's just going to be simply thrown like that you can see i ran in like this so that's going to be a great way to basically throw a full execute from that tetris area both this area and jungle smoked off as well as ct and that's basically it for the video guys make sure to like and subscribe let me know what you thought about all of these did you enjoy the major i'll catch you all in the next one